Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town a Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the Explosives One. Jonas, we are not playing the sticks. You knew it was going to happen one time. I had one week where I was like, TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-D-H-T, without prompting. Well, it's always Twice. like the the first one you yeah. mess up. That like, it's like you're always half awake. You're always. I'm still half awake. <laughs> let's not let's not act like I mean, I'm not half awake here. That's still a thing. You were sleep podcasting a little bit ago. Uh, yeah, dude, that was just off the dome. Oh, nice, dude. I love Grace Under Fire. Grace Under Fire. That was a good show. No, it dude, wasn't. I, I really <laughs> used to watch Grace Under Fire. Oh no. No. <laughs> I thought I'd found the kindred spirit. I used to love that show. No, I, I mean, I think I, I was like younger. I probably watched it. Didn't it? It had a. Uh, it was. What was that girl's name? No, dude, I don't. Brett Butler. Her. Brett Butler. How do you remember Brett Butler? Yeah, yeah. I think I did watch that show. Yeah, because she was like, uh, she was like a single mom, and she was like doing like. Yeah. Okay, I think I did watch that show. All yeah. right, Jones. Hot take, dude. I like watching shows about poor white people. <laughs> Fair. You know, <laughs> like I'm just like, oh. Hell yeah, young lady, you fucking do your shit. I used to watch Roseanne. They actually had like a Brett Butler Roseanne crossover where their two shows met because they were similar ideals about uh oh about working class yeah about folks. working class. <laughs> well, I remember that dude, but she was a single mom. She had like a little daughter and a son and shit, and she was just like, "Now, honey, we got to save money. Yeah, you can't gotta eat ramen for a week." <laughs> <laughs> yes, eat that ramen, white I mean, people. That was me I when love I was it. growing up. So. <laughs> Oh, I was like, oh, we're going to have more goulash? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, we Sloppy were both... Joe's again. Yeah. We, was... we we came from the same town, at yeah. least, you know, well, for that's the most when, part. like, hamburger was cheap. So anything you could, like, put some ground hamburger and put some <laughs> sauce in it, dude, like, that was it. It was like, oh, spaghetti sauce with ground beef? Go. Uh, do, people know what, do people know what goulash is, though? I don't know. Explain it to them, Jones. Uh, I will in just a second. I want to thank them first for watching our podcast on our YouTube channel. We're glad that you're joining us under Crazy Town Media or listening to us massage your fucking eardrums with our tongues. <laughs> <laughs> on Spotify or iTunes. Uh-huh. He's on uh he's on Twitch. He does that stuff. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at ten o'clock AM Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore crazy town at twitch.tv. So goulash was it's ba- it's simple. <laughs> pound of beef, pound of elbow macaroni. Big jar of sauce. Yeah, dude. Mix was... all that shit together. Goulash. That is poor man's lasagna right there. Dude, just... it lasts forever. <laughs> and, then, and then you can do some shit, dude. Like, you, after it's like, it's like you get it, all the <laughs> pasta weird. soaks up all the sauce, so there's no uh. sauce left in it. Then you take it and you make like into a patty form and you fry it in a pan you make and you make a goulash sandwich. Get the hell With garlic out of bread here. on each side, Yo, dude. son, what are you talking about? You like, want me to make some of that? I will no, show you. I don't it, want you fire. to make some of it. And I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as you said a goulash sandwich with garlic bread, it's, you threw the, I was like, I thought you were off your fucking rocker <laughs> until you said garlic bread. And I was like, that actually sounds amazing. And I'm pissed about it right now. I'm Cause not happy. Because you never did it. No, because it sounds both equally disgusting and amazing. And I don't like the feeling that you've elicited inside of me right now. <laughs> Fried goulash on garlic bread sandwich. I, I just think of like breading it maybe. And I'd be like, oh, hell yeah. Oh, like dip it in egg and then breadcrumbs and then fry it in a pan. <laughs> Great, and I hate it, dude. I, thanks, I hate it, Jonas. Thanks, I late, I love it, and I I'm hate it. I'm gonna make you some of that this weekend. No, awful I'll, taste. I'll just like, I'll knock on your door and I'll put a plate on the floor. It's gonna give me a fried goulash sandwich. <laughs> I'll kick that shit right up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> That would be awesome. <laughs> I would kick it right up against the wall. <laughs> and then you'd be sad that you didn't eat it because you know you wanted to try it. And then I'd, man, I shouldn't have done that. No, I'd eat it off the wall. Fuck it. Like, goulash, okay. Was there another meal that, like, your mom made that was, like, the, the poor man's something? It was just, like, you could tell it was, like, the, like, we ain't got a lot of money meal. <laughs> like... <laughs> No, I do have a story about something that my mom... My mom tried the goulash idea, but she tried it with white rice. Okay. She just basically put... Uh, the sauce on white rice. I think she might have added like a little bit of ground beef or right, something. Right. And she was like, oh, it's it's Spanish rice. And I remember I was like, oh, okay, I ate it. And then I remember the next day, I was like, I don't feel well. <laughs> and she was like, oh, you're fine. You're going to school. I was like, okay. Went to school. I remember I was in, this was like 
elementary or okay. whatever. And I remember just telling the teacher, I'm like, I don't feel well. And she was like, well, go see the nurse. And I just remember like getting halfway to the nurse's office and just unleashing just emesis and vomit all over the fucking hallway, dude. It was all over me. It was all <laughs> like a, it was like I was a sprinkler and everything in a 20 foot radius was just engulfed in vomit, dude. Wow, dude, that's a gross <laughs> I'm sorry, but you know, I did learn one thing is that whenever I told my mom I didn't feel well after that, she'd be like, you can stay home. Yeah, dude, you embarrassed her because you puked all over the school. She's Look like, how you send your kid to school. Right. right. One time I didn't feel good at school and like my mom came and then I got drunk out of the fountain and I felt better and told her I to stay the rest of the day. I didn't understand any of that. I, that I didn't feel well yeah. and my mom came to pick me up. And, like, I got a drink out of the fountain, and I was just like, I'm good. I'll stay the rest of the day. And she was like, I will murder you. You're coming home. <laughs> I don't know. I was, I was like, in first grade. But uh, let's see. What else, what else did my mom make that was like? I don't know. Man. Oh, dude. My mom makes this casserole, and it's super good. It's called broccoli, cheese, and rice. It's, I, yeah. I, bet you can only, I bet you can't guess what's in it. Uh, but she, it would be, I think it's, like, rice, like a, a thing of frozen broccoli, and uh, cheese whiz and cream of mushroom soup, and then you bake oh, it. Dude, I love that. Yeah, it's really good, but it's like poor man mm. shit because like it's uh, like cheese whiz, so, cream of mushroom. Fam, soup. as soon as you say cream of mushroom soup, you won me over. I loved. I put that shit on everything. Yeah, it's like. Oh, uh, I need to put that on. What a fried goulash sandwich with cream? Of mushrooms? Oh, actually, that sounds amazing too. It's like if you, so you could say a, a piece of shit with cream of mushroom, and be like, "Yo, I eat that <laughs> like shit." It's gonna go hard. <laughs> I'll eat that shit. Yeah, I right think now. my mom made any other stuff. Like the goulash was in Sloppy Joe. It was just like, "Oh, we're having people over." I to this day don't ever want to eat Sloppy Joes because I ate them so much as a child that yeah. I was like. I was like, no, nah, dude, I'm good. Oh, you know, man, which had a, they had the, they had the bag, man. I'm not gonna lie, a nice man, which was all right. I don't remember anything from when I was a kid, man. I remember enchiladas, and I used to love enchilada night. Yeah, yeah. But it was just like the super unhealthy thing, and I remember hot wing night. <laughs> and I remember taco night. I remember the nights, but I don't remember like on a daily basis what we would eat. Yeah, I don't. At yeah, all. I don't either. It's been. I'm trying to think. Dude. Yeah, it was long. a lot of. Uh, I just remember. Uh... Yeah, goulash, dude. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Amazon, I don't know what the hell Amazon wants to do, but they got the okay to launch like 3,236 satellites into space for their Cooper constellation. You like, guys can read that and see wait, what it is. So, this is the same thing that Elon Musk is doing. I think, maybe. But, like, the amount of satellites that Amazon wants to put in space is 600 more than they're currently already in space. Oh, and uh, What's the number that is currently in space. Do you have that? Uh, I'll look it up. 631236. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, yeah, fair enough. So there's well, 32,000. No, 3,200. So 3,600. Okay. Or something. I don't know, dude. I That's don't know. fine. Truth I'm going to look it up. But uh, that wasn't this isn't that wasn't the point of the story. Okay. Um, but what and like so what's happening though is these satellites. Yeah. Are reflecting light. It sounds very similar to what Elon Musk wants. So um, the problem is that astronomers are getting pissed off because the sky is getting filled up with satellites that are like flickering light like stars. And it's fucking up with astronomers work because so like it isn't a problem right this minute, but like as there's no regulations in space about this right now mm -hmm. and satellites are just gonna be going everywhere and like they've tried to put like anti-reflective coatings and shit but they're, they're but like it's it's gonna essentially like ruin astronomy because there's gonna be so many satellites yeah. in between us and the stars and they're all yeah. gonna be reflecting fucking you can't, light you can't see anything you, you won't be able to tell what's what because they're all fo they're all like faux stars essentially essentially eventually uh, to get any view of like what's out there you're gonna have to have a satellite to see it yeah dude so um uh, google says there are 2666 which is kind of crazy <laughs> two satellites six, six, six. Two, well, yeah six, that's six, okay six. That, 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 that goes because it's six, almost 600 more and they're and they're putting 3236 in so yeah okay okay, yeah, okay. so, fair? so yeah, look at it. facts Facts and facts. Yeah, a little bit of facts. Yeah. And then there was the amount that Elon Musk wanted to put in. We it was talked like forty thousand. Dude, he wants to put a crazy amount of number. They they didn't have a problem with that though. I yeah, mean, no, dude. Maybe they did. He wants to. Uh, he wants to microwave our brains. He wants to put the five G in, dude. Bring more corona. <laughs> like, <laughs> all right, Jonas. So 
do you do we care about astronomy and the research or do we care about the fact that this could be the future it could provide the world with internet and for free is that how, what, what's about, more important what is what is the point of this guy's uh satellites what are they doing what are they oh, for i don't know i'm sure bezos has some sort of spy <laughs> software up there dude he's got, he's got a plan he's gonna project his face in the sky like the bat signal <laughs> He could his big old ball head up. There. Yo, that would be just <laughs> egregious. You have to look at Bezos constantly. Like, that would be the most egregious ad. No matter where you are in the world, you see <laughs> shop Amazon. And Bezos. No, you just see his face. That's it. Bezos is watching. Oh God, that's Big true. Brother Bezos. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It didn't say it's the Cuper constellation, dude. So it's it's something. That's what they call. It. <laughs> Give me the name. You can Google it, dude. It's the Cooper kind of. Cooper. No, nah, dude, it just sucks enough. because, like, you know. What sucks? There's already enough light pollution out there. You can't see the stars very well because of the cities. Fair. Fucking lighten up the world, dude. Now we're going to have, like, actual, like, shit in the way of, like, the beautiful stars. So what? We should just go back to Daniel Boone and Davy Crockett? No, dude. We should just not fuck up shit. Uh, look, the future is, is going to yeah. happen with or without you, buddy. <laughs> these satellites are getting up there. We're going to have better wait, internet. Wait these anti-5G dudes get into space. <laughs> yeah, satellites. dude. Just let them put a chip in your head. Oh, God. Just let them do it. It's cool. Dude, Everybody's not, doing it. I don't even want a vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> don't you dare on this platform. <laughs> Jonas. I'm not joking. <laughs> I am not an anti-vaxxer. <laughs> You're not joking. You better be joking. Fuck that. No, I don't. No, and I'm not right. an anti-vaxxer. No, yeah, I'm, no, no. I, I kind of like the idea. I want to know, but I just need to know what you're putting the satellites there for. And then, once again, you're lying about it because... <laughs> I Every, just want to know what your reason is because I yeah. know it's fake. Oh, you'd be like, hey, you were just putting the set. Like, if you don't give me any reason, I just know you're up to no good. At least fucking give me the illusion that at you're up to no good. Just give me a lie. Yeah. Lie to me. Lie to me. Yes. You know? It's like, I already know that you're just trying to fuck me, but at least buy me a couple drinks yeah. first. What did buy me say? some drinks before you fuck me. Get me nice and liquored up. All right? Lie to me. Feed yeah. me. And then try to fuck what me. What do they say in that Ray Schremmert song? Look me in the face. Look me in the eye and lie to me. <laughs> that this could be. Lie a to me. I'll believe anything. Thing. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Look me and lie to me. I'll believe Basically. anything. You know? Absolutely. So. But you're not telling me anything? I'm just like, oh, well, you just, you're just trying to fuck me. You just want to fuck me, just raw, in the, and you just basically just lead me into the bathroom. Yeah. Of the the shell gas station and trying to fuck yeah. me. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because there's got to be a reason why you need the satellites for. Mm -hmm. Dude, he could just say he wants to give us internet for free like a lawn. Yo, it is crazy what money can get you. <laughs> you see this shit? Anything. This, do you see this shit? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> I was just watching a video on wealth, and they were talking about how, like, the distribution is just nuts, man. <laughs> the have amount you, of money. Have you seen that thing on on a Reddit? It was an infographic, and it was like you swipe you swipe the screen to the right, yeah, and it'll be like this is this is a thousand dollars, this is a million, and, the, and you have to keep swiping, and then like this is they're like this is a billion dollars, and you have to swipe like. 30 times and that's like this is jeff bezos as well <laughs> and you just have to like scroll for like literally you're just scrolling forever yeah. and like uh, like the difference between a million dollars and a billion dollars is just fucking ridiculous it's a thousand times more it's ridiculous it's it's so much money that it's difficult to spend it's a thousand million dollars yes and one person with a million dollars not a thousand yeah uh, thousand, oh, yeah, it is thousand million dollars so it's like one million dollars for the average Joe would be enough to last for a lifetime. For a lifetime, yes. then you have a thousand times that much, and and like Bezos has like hundred billion dollars <laughs> or something. <laughs> I heard his wife was donating a lot of money. Um, I think she was donating like twelve billion or something well, yeah, like she, that. What do you? Or his ex-wife, I should say. Like, like for real, like okay, like this is a hot take and it's coming from a guy who doesn't have a billion dollars. So obviously my opinion means nothing, but like, okay, if you have $5 billion, right? Mm -hmm. Why are you not doing something? <clears throat> like um, you can get all the tax benefits in the world for donating that shit. You could make major change in the world. Yes. 
Um, it's it's funny because I was literally just watching. I don't remember all the facts that were involved. There was like some good numbers involved, but they were talking about eliminating the idea of a billionaire. Like uh, once you have so much money that it's more about just like taxing the people who have billions of dollars the same way you tax the person who has tens of thousands of dollars right because our tax we pay a lot more in taxes now granted these people provide the jobs in the country but to have their tax at least comparable to what we're paying it could solve a lot of issues yeah they were like it would take 10 billion dollars to cure uh to end homelessness in all of america or at least in california 10 million dollars and you or 10 billion dollars and you can end that shit bezos could pay that like he could pay that and not even feel the hit much right. like he didn't feel the hit when right. his wife yeah. took half and that's and that's the shit that like really fucks like fucks with my head a little bit it's like somewhere like flint michigan hasn't had clean drinking water in forever and there's not one billionaire that's like i'll donate 30 million dollars to like redo your whole water system so an entire fucking city can have fresh drinking water and you could get a tax rate off for that shit i'm sure but to no an extent, yeah, you're gonna get some of it and back. No for one's sure. gonna step up to the plate and just help out an entire city that like and shit. I mean, the, those situ sort of situations. Like, if you have a billion dollars, man, like, why aren't you like helping? Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, has a their hospital shit. Oh, I can donate two hundred fifty thousand dollars and remodel this hospital so it's working, or the school is shit, or whatever. Like, once you have that amount of wealth, man, I. You know, and I'm probably, I'm talking out of my ass. I've never had that much money, so I really don't know. And that's the, why I say my opinion means nothing, because I don't yeah. have a billion dollars. And I'm sure they're probably like, if a, if a billionaire <laughs> was listening to this podcast, hey, by the way, if you are a billionaire, you know, you could Hey, man. Patreon. Yeah, dude. We'll just... Only fans. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they're like it's not all liquid, you know. Like we don't have access. It's to not like the, they have a billion dollars in the bank. Yeah, right. even though they probably do have a billion dollars in the bank. Not in America. It's right, on right, an right. offshore account or something. Right, shit. right. <laughs> but, yeah, a lot of it is like assets and like yeah, and, yeah, 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 and, yeah. St and stocks and you know all sorts of shit. Yeah, but it's like, like it's not net worth necessarily. It's everything they own. Right, but I mean. But yes, it's like it, yeah. it's it's just sad that like I would definitely I would definitely feel more inclined to to do that type of stuff. I don't know if I'm just going to spend my days not tending to my businesses, but I would definitely take a point at least like a couple days in a month where I'd have people go and find out what needs to be done out there and get it done. Right. Like I would have no problem. Like I have a feeling that if I had that much money, I would start nonprofit foundations that whole purpose would to be to help things like that. And that's the thing is that these guys probably do do that to a certain degree. And I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. It's it's hard. It's a lot of hypotheticals. When I put out a brand of salad dressing and all sorts of shit and all the profits go to charity. Newman's own goes to charity? Yeah, like all of it. Like, Are you serious? Literally the company, all the profit from the company goes to charity. They basically run it at the expense and all the profits go to charity. Is that a real thing? Yeah. Who the hell knows that? Me? Why does nobody else know this? Right, so it's like you buy that salad dressing, like, yeah, literally it Yo, goes... Yo, I, I, okay, well, I want you to do your research, people at home, but if this is the truth, yo, Newman's Own is the only brand I'm going to buy. I, I did not know that. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, like, I, I will, don't uh, even like Newman's Own, but yeah, I will buy it. Like it ish, dude, but you know what, dude? <laughs> you never I, used it? I've had Newman's Own. Newman's <laughs> Own even has, like, pizzas and shit now. Oh, sweet. like uh, I was over at uh, my friends and we had a Newman's own like white pizza. And I was like, this shit is bomb. I still feel like somebody is getting paid there, but I, I do need to know. I do need to know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I imagine that maybe like most of the profits or all of the profits. The company stuff? gives 100 percent of the after tax profits from the sale of its products to the Newman's own foundation, a private nonprofit foundation, which in turn gives the money to various educational and charitable organizations. Son so, of a bitch. So it runs like a normal nonprofit, but instead of taking all their profit and putting it back into the business, they give it all to charity. So they so, do they do pay their people. Oh yeah, yeah. The employees of the company get so th they take mm. all their expenses, they pay everybody, mm. then anything that normally would be like the profit in a nonprofit normally that just goes directly back to the business, they give it to a charity. I wonder how much Newman gets paid. Whatever he wants. He probably doesn't make mm. anything. Mm, he doesn't make anything. Yeah, and like, and that's the thing. Like, I've always wanted to do something like nonprofit because, like, you still get paid. Like, you have a salary. You're just not going to be a CEO making 
thirty million dollars. But you you could still easily make six figures as a CEO of a nonprofit. Yeah. You know, and then it's just you the all the profit goes back into the business. But I yeah, like and that's the sort of shit I would want to do. It's like I want to make the world a better place, dude. Not like hoard I mean, my cash. That, that, and that's what it ends up becoming is basically these people are hoarding cash. Billionaires essentially are hoarding cash. You don't, you don't need that much money. There becomes a point where it's like you just, have, why do you even have this much money? It's just like you and Resident Evil and me and uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> why like, do you have all those that all that ammo? Why do you have all these? Swords? And their answer is in case I need it. Exactly. And then you, it's like, oh, you know, well, fine. I used one sword. Now I can pick up another sword. And as soon as that sword spot is open, there's another sword to replace it. It's yeah. like, and, and you're running at full capacity. You don't need that much money. Why nah, do dude. you need forty-seven billion dollars? Why? <laughs> what do you? What could you possibly do with forty-seven billion dollars? That is more money than a person can spend in a lifetime. That's more money than your family for the next ten generations could spend in a lifetime. <laughs> right. And the money's not going to stop rolling in. The right. money's only you're only making more money. He do just wants something to be the first big. trillionaire. No, fuck that shit. Do something big. Spend half of your current assets, and you still have more money than you would need in a lifetime, or your next, or your next five yeah, generations. It's like, well, somebody like that, they want to go down in history, dude. If they took, like, if they took ten billion dollars of their own money and did something that was like world changing, yeah. like they would be remembered forever, and not as the guy who fucking ran Amazon. Yeah. They'd be remembered as like, oh my God, this dude took ten billion dollars of his own money and did this. Yeah. Gave the whole world free internet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I mean, and that might be some of the things that these gentlemen have in in, in plan. I'm sure they're probably running into dif difficulties with the litigation. I feel like the mindset of a billionaire has to be totally different than the mindset of like the average person because we look at it like it's black and white. You just fucking donate the money, give the money, do something big. You know? Yeah. I'm sure it takes a lot more planning or whatever. But <clears throat> right. I, I don't know, man. I don't know why people are just trying to amass so much money that they can just buy the world. Is that what you want? You just want to own the world? Money then what? power, dude. Yeah, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it almost feels like it would be kind of like an empty existence. And I hear a lot of people say that it's like once you have the money, it's not that great. Because it's like, sure, you can buy everything, but then it's like, well, yeah, once you have everything you want, then what? Well, they say, and then when they say too, it's kind of like, um, it's like, then like what? fame and celebrity. It's like you want to be famous, you want to be celebrity, but you live such a lonely existence because you can't, like, you can't go out in public because you get swarmed. Yeah. The people who are around you, like, do they really like you, or are they just around you because you're famous? It's like you lose all of your, like, you know what I mean? Like the friends I have, the friends you have, they're our friends because, like. They like us as a person, like, but like, yeah. But if it was before your money, I guess that's right. That's so if you're money. rich or you or you're famous, and like, you're like, what are these people hanging around? And me that, for? yeah, that was another. That's like the fact that you don't know if people are really your friend. That 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 changes everything because people hang out with us because they want to. They ain't, gonna, they ain't <laughs> yeah. getting my money. It ain't. It ain't because of that. <laughs> God right. damn it! It's because right. I got a personality. Right. Exactly. So there's that aspect, and, and yeah, like I said, man, once you own, once you once you can buy everything that you want, it's just like what the fuck? What, like it right. feels. It does kind of feel empty. I I could see that. If I were just like, hey, I want this, I'll buy it. I want this, I'll buy it. I right. want this, I'll buy it. Then I just have a bunch of stuff. Well, and the thing too and is uh, like, stuff does not make you no, happy. I'm like, not happy with the stuff I have now. Well, and, just and it's, it's interesting cakes. because I by no means make a lot of money. I don't make bad money, but I don't make great money. Mm -hmm. But most of what I want to go buy, I can go buy. Now, I can't go buy any car I want, any house I want. But like if I want like a game, a video game, I go buy the video game. You know, it's not, I'm not, I, I live comfortably enough. And that almost makes possessions not worth it. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it, so if I was able to like, oh, I want a Lamborghini and I can just go buy a fucking Lamborghini. Like I want to go drive around for two days. And then I would be like, this then is you, stupid. Then you like, just have a car. Right. Exactly. Congratulations. Like, you have four yeah. wheels and a steering wheel. Right. The same so as it's like, you can even have that feeling when you car. make under a hundred thousand dollars. If you can pay your bills and if you want something small, like a new, a new shirt or a video game. You're just like, it's just stuff, dude. It's just, it's yeah. not, it yes. doesn't make you happy. It's like, exactly. So it's like, imagine ha being able to buy literally anything you wanted. Exactly. What you have to realize is that um, if a person compliments you on your car, 
Well, they have complimented your car, but they have not complimented you as a person. Right. So congratulations, you have a nice car. If somebody compliments you on your clothes, they complimented your clothes, but not you as a person. So congratulations, you have nice clothes. Right. It is not about the stuff you own. It is about the integrity inside the person, the personality, the the uh, the desires, the person, the the per- the person is made from the person, not the, what he owns. Right. Yes. And yeah. what you can do with what you what you own is a totally different thing. Right. Like, like yeah, like if, if someone's like, um, now, I ain't going to say that if I'm out and a uh, girl's like, hey, that's a nice shirt. It doesn't make me feel good. Yeah, but you've complimented a shirt, man. Right. I didn't make the shirt. Right. I just exactly. bought it. I, yeah, I, <laughs> I just, just wear it. I just like, bought the shirt. But if I have someone be like, oh, you're, or they'll say like, oh, you're so smart or you're so kind or like whatever. That's those different. kind of compliments that's a different are level. like, yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. You recognize what I've been working on as a person <laughs> my entire life. Right. <laughs> like, oh, that's so kind of you to do that. Well, thank you. That yeah. you recognize that like... <laughs> I think I'm going to incorporate giving those type of compliments to people more more so than giving a compliment on, oh, you and, look, and you look the, good today. And those are the ones I try to give people all the time. Yeah, um, now, if you're trying to give it to a stranger, you can't, obviously, if you see someone out and they have a nice dress on, you're like, oh, it's a nice dress. Like, you can't go, oh, hey, you're smart. You don't know them. But, like, if, if it's, like, people I know and they're doing so, I try to make sure, like, yeah, be like, well, why does it, well, yeah, it's because you're smart. Like, I'm smart? Well, yeah, I th- yeah. It's more important to talk about more important things, not just looks. Shallow compliments, man. Yeah, not that they don't feel good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, definitely, but yeah, especially for dudes, we ain't get no compliments. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> definitely not. It it means that is more precious to us. You're like, oh my god. Women like, women get compliments all the time. And you're like, she likes my shirt. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> joke, total joke. <laughs> total joke. But uh, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please, make it? Sure- we're done. Yeah, it's overtime actually. Oh my god. Yeah, please make sure to like and subscribe all of our stuff. But uh, for Jonas. TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We. Oh, uh, oh,